Hi Shanty Fannies, or should I say Danny Fannies. Welcome to Motivation Monday where I am going to take some time to motivate you for the week. First things first guys, thank you for all the good feelings and prayers you said about my back. I woke up today and didn't feel a thing, so I must have just pinched something or posed the wrong way or whatever for Comic Con, so thank you so much, I very much appreciate it. And if you can't tell, no, Shanny, no, I know you gotta put up with me, I'm sorry. And by the way, this is not my wardrobe. Duh. Shanny, of course, had me wear this today. It's one of her new favorite shirts. Look, it's a unicorn uh, pooping uh, uh, rainbow poop. You're welcome. So guys, the reason Shanny's not here doing this for you today, is she's just not doing well right now. She has had a huge week. There's been a lot of emotional things going on. She just not doing very well and she asked me to sub for her today which i of course said yes because you guys like seeing me for some reason i don't know why but you do so i'm just gonna apologize now sorry shanny and sorry you guys you have to deal with me anyway but the good thing is guys that she will be okay this is just giving her breaks and she's gonna be back tomorrow for the rest of the week for the rest of the month for the rest of forever so don't worry she's not going anywhere she is okay just needs a breather okay guys so my motivational thing this week is going to be a little story that I heard on the radio and I'm going to tell it back to you guys and hopefully make it a cool analogy for you, okay? And it is the story, and you can stop me if you have heard this before. Nobody? Okay, good. Story of the pencil and how we are pencils in this life. So one day the pencil maker made a pencil and he said before I send you out into the world I need to tell you five important things. So the first thing you will be able to do many and great things but only if you allow yourself to be held in someone's hand. I'm gonna get into this but I'm gonna tell you the rest of them first. Two, you will experience a painful sharpening from time to time but you will need to become a better pencil. Okay, hold on, questions at the end. Three, you will be able to correct any mistakes you might make. Four, the most important part of you will always be what's on the inside. And five, on every surface you are used on, you must leave your mark. No matter what the condition, you must continue to write. Okay, let's break this down because we're gonna switch from a pencil into us. So number one, you will be able to do uh, many and great things, but only if you allow yourself to be held in someone's hand. What? I'm an adult, or I'm an individual, and I don't need anybody in this life. Bull crap. We all need someone to help us out in this life, guys. Whether it's a friend, a family member, a spouse, a brother, a sister, uh, uh, a cousin, God if you believe in him, great spirit, whatever. Everybody needs somebody to help them out in this life, okay guys? Don't forget that. That's like, it's, it's number one for a reason. Okay, we're all here to help each other out. Pencils cannot write anything if they're not in someone's hand. Uh-oh, it's on the floor and you can't, it can't do anything unless it's being held by someone. Oh crap. Okay. Two, you will experience a painful sharpening every now and again. Guys, look, this life is tough, okay? And if we're out there and we're writing all the time or we're drawing or we're doing, we're leaving our mark, our nice sharp pencil will eventually dull out. Uh -huh. So, we have to be sharpened every now and again. You gotta sharpen your mind, okay? You gotta learn something. You gotta, you gotta know what, what your limits are and how much you can write a day. Uh, this can go into uh, taking a break in Shani's case, you know? Anything like that. The problem is, is that the pencil Probably doesn't like to be sharpened that much. Look at it. Oh, we're skinning this thing alive. Oh, <laughs> Jude, us. Oh, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Look at this. I'm actually holding pencil skin in my hand. But look at that. Hey, peanut gallery, you're supposed to be quiet. Hey guys, so painful sharpening, and look at that. It's actually a pretty crappy sharpening job, but that's not my fault. That's the sharpener's fault. Anyway. Now you can write again. You can write as sharp as you want. You can get super fine detail. You can remember things better. You can have more attention on what your projects are, or what your life is about, okay? But every now and again, you have to get sharpened. Okay guys, number three is you will be able to correct any mistake you might make. We're all not perfect artists. We all will make mistakes in this life, okay? Greatest thing, every pencil, most every pencil, will come with an eraser, okay? You make a mistake in this life, you can erase it. You can make it better. Well, maybe my pencil doesn't have an eraser. Fine. 
Make the mark that you made work for you, all right? If you mean to draw a circle and all of a sudden, oh, there's a little sharp edge to it or a straight edge or whatever, fine, then it's not a circle anymore. Make whatever shape you made work for you. Make it into something new. Hey guys, four, most important part of you will always be what's on the inside. Look at this pencil, right? What's the most important part of this pencil? Uh, the lead, what's on the inside? Otherwise, it's just a piece of wood that does nothing. You have to have that inner core. The thing that makes marks in this world, the thing that makes you you, is on the inside. You only get to show your work when the inside is shown, okay? Look how many colors of pencils there are out there. There's a hundred million of us on this world and we're all different colors. Uh, we all leave different marks. Some of us are different shades. Some of us are different colors vibrance, all of this stuff, okay? But it doesn't really matter because we're actually all the same on the inside. We're all just trying to make our mark on this world. However you want to adapt that to your life is what we've been talking about this whole thing about, okay? So let's talk about that. How do you make your mark here in this world? You just can't go around and stab people with a pencil all day. I mean, you can, but that's not very nice or appreciative and you're probably thrown in jail or get punched in the face. Probably not a good idea. But analogy-wise, how do you make your mark? You talk to people, you interact with people, you present your gifts to one another. Oh my gosh, I'm a really good artist. Oh my gosh, I'm a, I'm a really good uh, public speaker. Oh my gosh, I can, I can decorate a room. Oh my gosh, or whatever. Share those talents, guys, okay? Again, the pencil is just a tool, all right? You guys are not a tool, so that's a bad thing. <laughs> That's true. Some of you are tools. Your gifts in this life, guys, are tools to be used. So make your mark in this world, guys. Don't ever forget that. Make your mark. This is the one that's probably going to be most adaptive to people with our situation, what, we're, what, our, what Shani's channel is always talking about, okay? And that's if, well, I'm broken. What do you do? If you guys are broken, you can fix yourselves. It's not useless, it's not worthless. You guys are not useless, you guys are not worthless. You are still of use. Put yourselves back together. Find that glue in your life. But let's never forget, as we hold our pencils in this life, as we hold other people's pencils in this life, remember to keep it sharp, use your eraser as minimal as possible, and leave your mark on this beautiful, wonderful world of ours. So in these times of recycled wood that gets taken to the plants of the places, that gets glued back together with new leads that continue to make pencils, that making marks in this life of ours, and the times of the places, I can't, I don't know how to do this. Peace out.